Okay, everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Uh, topic about uh, caduceus coils. Uh, my last uh, replication of uh, Whoopi's uh, DC motor uh, experiments. I uh, was claiming I had made a caduceus coil, but uh, I showed you this one. It's a two turn coil with a uh, flip over at one side, but uh, this of course is not a real caduceus coil as being mentioned uh, on the web. So I did some research. Uh, there are some different coils which are called uh, caduceus coil. I made here a, a one which has the boat crosses on the both sides. And uh, yeah, they call this a Smith coil or a caduceus coil. And there are two flavors of it. Uh, one where the uh, uh, one of the, the the leads, like it says, I have a red and a black uh, lead wire here. Uh, there is an uh, one coil from which the black lead is uh, crossing over at one side and crossing beneath at the other side, like it's here. This is really the Smith coil. Uh, there is also a, a, a caduceus coil on the web where you can see that both uh, wires at both sides are crossing. So the black wire should cross on top the red wire and the same here. So there, there are two ways to wind this. But you can see there is no uh, 90 degrees angle here. The wires just uh, cross over on both sides. Uh, there's also something else uh, called the caduceus coil in where there is a yeah this is a, a big one there's a loop starting here and then it crosses over to the back and you try to make a 90 degrees cross here and then going to the other side and again a 90 degrees cross and so on and this happens to be a uh, what is it a two turns or something it's mentioned uh, meant for my uh, <coughs> cash up as a pickup coil. So instead of this uh, coil I used. Uh, it's quite a big one, but uh, the, the turnings and the crossover, the 90 degrees, that's basically what's uh, not making this uh, another type of uh, caduceus coil. Okay, so I'm going to uh, experiment both uh, with this as an output coil and with this I can put this inside the cacher and I can put this uh, over uh, the outside the cacher so I will be some doing some testing with both of them. And I will show you the result later on. Okay, so the first uh, the uh, caduceus coil is the, the, the big output coil, outside coil. Uh, I put it in the middle of the cache and I will uh, slide it uh, up slowly to find a uh, sweet spot to see if it can start the little fan on its own. Uh, we saw yesterday that uh, without a cap, there's no cap installed here in the AV plugs, it's had a hard time to, uh, to start on its own. So. When I uh, use this coil and the other coils and uh, I find a point where it starts from itself, we know from that point on that's uh, the biggest power it, uh, it will uh, uh, output and, uh, as input for the, uh, for the fan. And we will uh, then change to the other coil to see what's uh, going on there. Okay, we are now kind in the middle of the cache coil. Uh, I will try to start the fan now by... You can see it has the same problem to start. It wants to start, but... Uh, not really enough power. Okay, I will slide it to, uh, to an, uh, the next point to see if it starts any better. Okay, I have slided a few positions. Uh, to the right, to the top of the, the cache coil, uh, a few centimeters each time, and this is the first point where I can see that after some tries the fan will start turning on its own. Still needs some attempts, some rocking forth and back, but uh, 
this is the first position uh, a little bit uh, offset from the middle to see the first action coming okay well the uh, caduceus output curl is now uh, maximum at the top and there is no much uh, change happened in between um, when I now touch the cashier, I power on the cashier you will see it will try to turn and sometimes it starts but uh, all the way out from the middle to the top there is not much change in power building up for starting this fan and it is similar as uh, the, uh, the coil I used before So I will change now to uh, the other caduceus coil and uh, which goes inside and see the difference from there. Inside the cache uh, now the, uh, the longer caduceus coil. I guess it's about 80 turns, 80 turns and it's all the way inside uh, the cache. I had to uh, find a sweet spot, uh, normally it would not do anything but there is one point uh, in or halfway out where I got this result uh, so I just touch uh, the cache to power on you can see it starts uh, trying to start to turn but uh, it's not really uh, powerful enough uh, sometimes it starts and then it's it will turn but it, this is not much bigger than uh, with the uh, the wicker outside caduceus coil and this is the only point I found uh, which it will start turning so there's not much uh, difference uh, there okay finally I will start with the uh, the cache coil I used uh, before with the single turn and to see what the effect it has okay finally I'm back with the uh, the coil I started with uh, put it somewhere in another diff in different position like I had before yesterday but it really does not make any difference it will start the fan but it uh, is not able to to start it really and to, to keep it turning so from all the coils uh, all the three coils I tested this one is uh, the least powerful and there is no big difference between the, the outside uh, caduceus and the inside caduceus uh, coil so that's uh, that's one conclusion we can we can take there's not not a magic uh, magic uh, solution in using a caduceus coil uh, in uh, in this uh, cashier uh, configuration okay thank you for watching um, what I did notice however is that uh, like yesterday I trying to uh, lit a small bulb um, 6 volt 2.5 watts uh, using a bigger cap I now have a 330 microfarad 400 volt caps uh, electrolytical cap uh, across uh, the plus and the minus where also the fan is uh, I was not able to get any lights out of uh, this call yesterday the same today with this uh, cap but when I use the inside uh, caduceus coil and I will now activate the cache you can see a small glow in this uh, bulb so it seems uh, it is uh, picking up uh, more RF than the caduceus coil. Uh, there's no life anymore in the fan because there's no power left to start it uh, running. So I will try to see what this light is doing when I uh, use the outside the caduceus coil if it's also uh, still brighter than this one. Okay, back to the outside uh, caduceus coil and uh, starting the cache now. We can see that it even lights the light somewhat better than the other inside caduceus coil. So I guess this is the winner, but it's it's very very uh, 
uh, less difference, uh, small difference between uh, all the coils. So there's not a definite uh, winner which I should uh, start using from now on. So um, I think that. This will conclude the uh, testing of the outside coil. I think there's no, not much difference or, or gain to win with, uh, with using uh, different types. Okay, thank you for watching.